Welcome to this video on continuous wavelet transform and wavelet coherence analysis using R. In this tutorial, we will work with temperature data from Dhaka to explore the dynamics of urban heat island effect across time and frequency. We will focus on daily temperature values taken at the 15th hour of the day and examine both the raw urban temperature and its difference from rural temperatures. First, uh, let's load the necessary packages. BiWavelet uh, is for wavelet analysis and read Excel to import. The primary data set includes daily values of temperature from Dhaka and Faridpur station at different hours. So data from the Dhaka station is considered the urban temperature and Faridpur is a proxy for the rural temperature. We calculated the differences of Dhaka and Faridpur at each hour and finally we extract the first 8036 rows from the data set <clears throat> which uh, represent data from 1979 to 2000 and select the date column and the column representing UHI at 15th hour of the day. So to ensure the time series is correctly interpreted, we convert date column to date format and this allows us to use time hour plotting. So before diving into analysis, we visualize the temperature difference data. So the line plot shows the UHI in Dhaka at 15th hour over time and this gives us an initial look at the long-term variation seasonality and trend in the UHI data and it also helps us to select the mother wavelet in our analysis. So uh, we now prepare two time series data for wavelet analysis. The first one is the daily temperature data in Dhaka, which is DHK full. And the second one is the difference of urban rural temperature, which is UHI diff. So for wavelet analysis, both series are assigned a simple numeric time index from 1 to 8036, matching their daily resolution. So uh, now we'll perform a continuous wavelet transformation on UHI different series. Before applying the function, let's look at the function. There are several arguments which you can read for your analysis and use the function based on your need. I, I like R for its uh, rich documentation and like it's really helpful when whenever I stuck to understand any function, I just put a question mark and run the function name and it shows the detail of the function. You can uh, copy paste the example code from any function and see how it works. In this tutorial, I only used three arguments. The first one is our data set, which is a matrix with two columns. Then dt, which is the length of the time step. We set the time step dt to 1 to reflect our daily data. So if you use hourly data, you have 24 values per day. Therefore, dt will be 1 by 24. Then uh, we will use molet wavelet as a mother function. Although, although this is the default uh, value of the mother function, I have also imported in, in my in the function because I just want to show that uh, I have selected the molet as mother function uh, as mother wavelet and it was selected because it is ideal for climate and environmental data and also it, it balances between time localization and frequency resolution so uh, and also it is uh, especially sensitive to periodicities like seasonal or decadal, decadal cycles as our data 
we have seen from the previous plot is almost smooth with seasonality we will use Morlet. so for your future research based on your data you can use other mother mother weblets like paul or doc so uh before going to plot let me give you an idea of par function i use par uh, for subplots or customizing margins there are several uh, options parameters in par function i would suggest trying this and here i only use oma for outer margin and mar for margin the sequence of these parameters is always uh, bottom left top right so you can adjust these values according to your need let's now take a closer look at how we plot the results of continuous wavelet transform so the first uh, argument is wtdiff which is the wavelet by wavelet object we have previously created from our analysis then the plot phase which is given true it tells the function to display phase arrows on the plot and these arrows show the phase relation relationship of the signal at different scales uh, for single time series data you can choose false uh, it is pretty really helpful for uh, coherence analysis and then the main fun main argument which is the title of the plot ltycy which is the line type for the cone of influence you can change the values to have dotted or other kind of lines and outside the this cone of influence the results may be less reliable the color is selected uh, for cone of influence is selected as dark gray uh, i have also selected plot significance to be true which highlights the areas of significant power and i've also given the line width for this highlighting and the y lab is uh, scale which we, the scale of the data which is in days as you can see from the dt uh, and x axt which is used when uh, we want to customize any axis like x uh, axt is used for customizing the x axis later and remove the disable the default x axis uh, which i'll be doing later and the plot.cv is true because uh, this is the legend of our plot the color bar on the side of the plot and it will it shows the range of what the power values so uh, to make the x-axis readable we add year levels at five year interval from 1979 to 2000 so next uh which compute the wavelet coherence between dhaka temperature series and the uha difference series and this method tells us where the two time series move together in a time frequency sense uh set and ran to 100 meaning the algorithm will use 100 monte carlo simulations to estimate the significant level uh, this helps us to determine whether the observed coherence is stronger than what should would be expected by chance while 100 is uh, chosen for first processing in this tutorial higher values could improve statistical confidence so the graphs we have created wavelet power spectrum uh, visualizes where and what at what scale significant variability occurs high power relation region indicates strong periodic patterns so let's look at the graph uh, for the inter interpretation uh, from the wavelet of UJ graph we can see a strong sustained power is observed at the scale of 256 to 512 days which indicates uh, an in annual uh, or biennial UHS cycle and this aligns with the seasonal land atmosphere interactions such as changes in solar radiation surface moisture or visitation phenology a persistent high power band 
at high skills or between 5, 12 and 1024 days suggest a long-term intensification of UHI effect. Uh, this may reflect urban expansion, increasing impervious surfaces, influences. So the mid-scale oscillation show intermittent burst of power, which is between 64 and 256 days. So these are the seasonal fluctuations in UHI intensity. In the coherence plot, the bright region shows strong correlation between the two signals at specific scales and times. The arrows indicate the phase relationship, whether the two series are in sync, lagged, or leading. The wavelet coherence analysis reveals significant covariability between UHI and the Dhaka time series at annual and biennial scales, which is between 256 and 512 days. Particularly during 1984 to 1989 and 1991 to 1996, this annual and biennial scale is shown. So high coherence val values above 0 0.8 in this period suggest a strong persistent relationship. And the phase errors in these zones mostly point left, indicating that the UHS signal is largely anti-phase with the Dhaka variable. And the increase in Dhaka's temperature actually causes decrease in UHI. And uh, this inversing relationship explains the UHI, high UHI in winter season. Also, the slightly downward arrow indicates relationship tends to lag significantly, implying a potential delayed urban thermal response to climatic or environmental driver measured in Dhaka. These visualizations help, help us to answer questions like, do rising temperature in Dhaka consistently align with stronger urban heat island effect? And at what temporal scale is this relationship strongest? So uh, that concludes our analysis of urban heat island dynamics in Dhaka using wavelet transform and co coherence. This approach reveals complex time frequency patterns that traditional methods might miss. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on environmental data analysis in R. Thanks for watching.